What's up everybody, Gengar Level X11 here. Haven't made a video in quite some time. Um, been busy moving to a new town, new job, stuff like that. It's not really a new job anymore, but um, recently kind of decided to get back into the Pokemon scene. And uh, here's what I'm running right now. I know it's like the middle of cities, so I hope to hit up a couple um, in Florida here. So. Uh, here's what I'm running, of course. I'm going to try and run Gengar uh, EX. Um, mainly, of course, for the Dark Corridor, of course. Um, not exactly sure if it'll focus on that or not. Probably not. Um, but yeah, Dark Corridor it's, just reminds me of old Kurskar. Uh, hit for 60, poison them, and retreat, or switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. So I run... 3-3, three, three, Gengar EX, I'm missing one full art. Now most people do not run the Mega, but I chose to try it out um, because it can deal with Donphan pretty well. You can wreck and get rid of their fighting stadium and you still get the bonus of like the 140 damage or whatever for a one hit knockout on Donphan. Not sure if I want to run this because it hasn't been super beneficial. So not sure on that one. I do run a 2-2 Trevenant line, just as an option for the item lock. Um, if I'm playing against Plasma or, I don't know, item lock's just really good against a lot of decks, so if I can get a Trevenant set up, that's an option I have. Um, I run two Sigalith, um, mostly for just blocking EXs, uh, really helpful. Uh, two Wobbuffet to shut off abilities. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to think of a situation, like Steel Decks. Steel Decks, like this shuts them down so hard, because I can shut off Bronzong's Metal Links so they can't attach the metal from the discard. And also, it just helps with uh, a lot of Pokemon, like Dragonite EX, um, Keldeo EX with the Bust In. This stops Bust In, so that's good. Um, Onto my trainers, and so that's my Pokemon. Um, pretty small line, but it's been working decent, except for the Mega Gengar EX. Not sure if I want to run that or not. Um, onto my trainers, I'm going to start with my one ofs, the cards I only have one of in my deck. My A spec is a Dowsing Machine, mostly because I want to make sure I have a Verbink uh, Stadium out at all times, and if I can't draw one, I can Dowsing Machine for it. It's also helpful for, for Ultra Balls. Uh, getting any supporters back. I mean, it could be just another Verse Seeker, basically. I run one Energy Retrieval, just as an emergency, uh, in case all my basic energies are gone, um, or just energies in general. I can get two basics back. One Escape Rope, super useful, especially if I need to get something out of the active. Um, and, I mean, I can Lysand or something else up, or if I need to get something out of the active on my side, I can Escape Rope it. Stuff like that is pretty useful. Of course, I run one Spirit Link just for the Mega Gengar. So possibly freeing up two spaces in my deck because I'm not sure if I want to run the Mega Gengar. But yeah, I run one Spirit Link, one Professor's Letter, simple if I need energy. One Megaphone, it's super useful against Dawn Fan, um, Steel. Like any, I mean, everything uses Float Stones and Muscle Bands now. So I just wait for them to load up and then I Megaphone. Um, I run three float stones just because I have a lot of bench sitters that are supposed to switch out, so I need them to have free retreat. Um, two muscle bands. It's really crucial to be able to deal with a Verbank out of full, a Gengar using Dark Quarter with a muscle band. Hits for uh, 80 plus 30 poison, so it's 110 damage. And if they aren't able to retreat or anything, that's 140 damage coming into my turn, which is a knockout on a lot of things. Um, I run three Robo Subs, just kind of knockout fodder for when I retreat Gengar, or I'm sorry, Dark Corridor with Gengar. I can come into a Robo Sub and just have them knock that out and not take a prize. Three Ultra Balls, standard search out of Pokemon. Two Versus Seeker. This card's so good, just being able to reuse supporters is awesome. Two Lysander. Um, I was running one 
but I really like disruption and being able to choose who I want to pick off and stuff. So, uh, two Lysander. I only run three in. I know a lot of people run four, but I only run three. Uh, four Sycamores. Hand refresh. Two Shauna. More hand refresh. Two Skyla. So I can get uh, trainers out of my deck. Mostly like float stones and stuff like that in case I need those. Um, Verbank. Uh, if the Pokemon, either mine or the opponent's Pokemon, is poisoned, they take three damage counters in between turns instead of just one. Um, super good synergy with Gengar. On to energies. I run four DCE. Obviously, Gengar's attack takes one Psychic, one DCE. Three Mystery Energy. These help just because if I can't get a Floatstone, I can attach a Mystery Energy. It reduces the retreat cost of a Psychic Pokemon by two. So, um, except for Trevenant, it gives everything in the deck a free retreat. Then I run six Basic Psychics. So, that's my Gengar EX deck. Um... Like I said, I'm not sure if I want to run the Mega or not, um, but yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, like I said, I'm brand new to the game, so I'm, I lose a lot of matchups, but mainly because I don't even know what cards are in the meta and like what options all decks have. So I uh, am definitely just testing a lot with local players so that I can figure out... Um, what exactly to do in certain situations and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that is my deck. If you guys have any suggestions or any uh, advice on <laughs> how to play and stuff like that, um, feel free to comment below. But, yeah, um, I'm back in the scene, and hopefully I'll be a little more active on videos and stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, of course, and getting your level X11 out.